Hello and welcome to your cricket podcast Turning Point. I am your host Rika Roy. This week I'm still trying to wrap my head around the astronomical figures that were placed on the bids of the two IPL teams Lucknow and Ahmedabad. Over 1.6 billion dollars or around 12000 crore rupees were spent to buy these two teams which is roughly as much as the price of Air India. Can you beat that? We are trying to know how these bids have impacted cricket's billion dollar baby or the IPL. Joining me on the show is Ness Wadia, co-owner of Punjab Kings. Uh, Ness, uh, thank you very much for joining us on the broadcast. Your first reaction to the value of the bids. Good evening, Rika. Hope all is well with you and the family and everyone. Uh, I think it's it's um, it's long overdue. I think. Um, it was unfortunate in 2010 when we had two teams come in mm-hmm. at large amounts of money and then um, they couldn't pay um, i think uh, it's without doubt one of the most established leagues in the world it's got the largest viewership and it's high time that it uh, received the accolades and the valuation that it did mm-hmm. and i think um, it's amazing how bcci and you know the entire support staff um, you know everyone included i think uh, has done a phenomenal job and uh, very happy that it's finally getting the value that it deserves now you spent about 350 crore in 2008 let me ask you what is the expected value of punjab kings right now the expected value is 7000 crores right i mean that's the, that's the that's the threshold in fact it might even be more because if you look at the calculations and you work it out we are positive cash flow so tomorrow if someone were to invest in punjab kings or any of the other franchises with which might be available for investment we have a constant uh, cash flow at the moment without any outflow so as you've said in your screen hmm. 375 to 6000 is wrong so you've taken an average uh, yes. but an, again an average would have been about 63 any current franchise is currently cash positive we've got a very strong balance sheet a very strong consistent inflow many businesses across the world any any business i mean if you if if you can turn on and say okay i'm guaranteed this amount of income mm-hmm. per year plus or minus 5% mm-hmm. very few businesses can can boast of that tell us how has the business of ipl been realistically how long would it take for these two franchises to recover costs <sighs> that is that is anyone's guess i i i'm i haven't really thought about it i know it took us um in those days i mean right from 2008 probably about probably about 9 years mm-hmm. to to break even um but i think things have changed you know the media rights are coming up again um i'm pretty sure they'll they'll go for a staggering amount again the ipl is now in its 14th season That's it's well established it's one of the only leagues and i i think uh, again you know i i don't want to sound like someone who's commending them too much but you know a uh, credit has to be given a to the bcci and b to the indian cricketers uh, who have really persevered mm-hmm. through all these bubbles i i think i i can't praise and thank them enough it's it's incredible what the players have done for indian cricket and what the bcci has managed to pull off during two seasons of covid where across the world mm. every single league has been either shortened or postponed True. um and we've just sailed through so i think it's 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 an incredible india uh, story which uh, you know should be given the respect it deserves globally you know you just mentioned about the tv rights deal can you put a number because last time it was around 16000 crore rupees your guess is as as good as mine i mean you're in the media um you know rika so you would know better but listen you know it's 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 growing uh it's moving up i mean if you go by by only what was done earlier um chances are it could go close to double mhm okay uh one final question any retention rule that has been shared with the franchises till now and what about the right to match card can you get kl rahul back as your captain well, there are many players apart from kl rahul firstly uh one player doesn't make up a team i've always said that having said that 
uh, every player has has a value and uh, you know one thing i will say is that we've learned to adjust and adapt throughout um i think any team which hinges too much on on one player uh, that does prove beyond a point the liability i think kl is exemplary in in anything and everything he's done uh, the way he's fought back from uh, really uh, you know going through a lot of issues 2 years ago mm-hmm. uh, i mean he's one of the only cricketers who's 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 consistent is an all-rounder um, but like i said you know cricket is about 11 uh, team members not about one mm-hmm. and i think as far as right to match or retention whatever happens we're ready for it that's the ipl we've learned to adjust adapt and and and, and go forward and keep smiling Thank you very much Ness it was a pleasure to have you on the show I'm also joined on the podcast by two eminent cricket voices former Indian cricketer Ashok Malhotra and brand guru Dilip Cherian Dilip uh, let me ask you first what does this do to the valuation of the rest of the teams and the cricketing universe two things Rika one the brand value of all of cricket goes up and it doesn't inch up it leaps up that's the first thing mm-hmm. the second thing is that despite the fact that there is a cap on how much you can pay the players right the 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 pool of players that will now be needed has increased so you will find that more cricketers have more chances of being employed by one of these teams mm-hmm. these are the two immediate things that have happened but aside from that i think that what mr sanjeev goenka is saying and what a lot of other people are saying is that we are seeing the evolution of a business model in this kind of cricket so uh, i was speaking to a bunch of people who have uh, bid for teams and they were saying that look you're looking at an investment plan of actually investing in a company over a period of 10 years hmm. at the end of 10 years in fact somewhere in the middle of 10 years hmm. you will start becoming cash positive hmm. and then you start playing the valuation game hmm. and hoping that in the next round your valuation leaps up so for companies and for big corporates this is becoming a area of investment because the brand that they create as a result of these teams rubs off on the owners on the brands that they own and on the fact that they start to become part of a new business which is now growing and attracting a lots of eyeballs and more money well um, please tell me uh, dilip um, you know we are talking about the cricketing universe what will be the brand value of ipl now just after the pandemic it was about uh, 45000 crore how much would it be valued right now you know there are uh, no estimates as such but i would say that having seen the brand value of a whole bunch of other other things um mm-hmm. post pandemic most of these valuations have gone up between 22 and 30% so i would say that uh games have come roaring back in terms of their popularity and while some of it has been ta- the some of the sheen has been taken off by the rise and rise of virtual games of the new kinds of gaming apps which are which are eating up bits of this i think that there is no doubt that as long as the passion and the craze for cricket continues it's only going to rise Now let me come to you Ashok. When well, the brand values of the teams are rising, but uh, what about the players? Will there be a higher player buying force? What do you think? And will the players be paid more? Uh, see, uh, def- definitely Rika, because uh, one thing uh, when you ask about the uh, what is the uh, uh, IPL uh, IPL uh, funds are. Now I I have been told by a board official that it is 50 billion dollars now. So you can imagine imagine uh, 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 the price tag which is, which has been put on IPL teams and as uh, Dilip Dilip said the price tag is increasing and it is a business. 
uh, as uh, Sanjeev Goenka said, because he paid uh, seven seven thousand uh, dollars, but three thousand five hundred dollars he will uh, get back from the PCCI during du- during ten years. So he is in a win-win situation because he has to pay rest of the money in o- over a period of ten years. But all in all, it's uh, absolutely the players will expect a, a raise in 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 their uh, salaries. Definitely, more, more uh, cricketers will get jobs, uh, and uh, not to forget uh, the IPL. IPL's image, IPL stay, mm-hmm. is uh, gone through the roof, uh, and uh, and size the limit, if I, I may say, because today it's seven thousand dollars, or it might be four, uh, mm-hmm. fourteen thousand dollars, or maybe maybe twenty thousand dollars. We we really don't know where it is going to get, go because Absolutely. IPL is probably the best commodity mm-hmm. in, in in cricket, and mm-hmm. cricket, you know. How popular it is because and, 20, and it is 22. a recession-free property right now. And, but, and, and Rika, 22, yeah. 22 people were bidding for the for the franchise. The two franchises, you can imagine, sky is the limit. Let me ask you a little bit about the retention rules. Do you expect Dhoni going back to Chennai Super Kings and uh, 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 Kohli, for that matter, to Royal Challengers Bangalore? Yeah, definitely so. I, 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 there will be retention uh, rules. There will be two to three cricketers who will be retained. And uh, Dhoni, uh, you cannot uh, uh, dream of a CSK without Mahindra Singh Dhoni. Because uh, he, he is not only the brand ambassador, he is face of CSK. And same with uh, Virat Kohli. You know, although RSP has not done as well as CSK, but uh, the fact is they are the face of uh, these franchisee and uh, 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 like uh, Rohit Sharma for Mumbai Indians, you know. So, so uh, these guys will be retained, mm-hmm. and then they will make teams around them. So that is that is going to happen because they will have the funds. New teams will have a, a chance to bid for somebody like KL Rahul. Uh, you know, Lucknow will bid for somebody like KL Rahul. Maybe, maybe uh, a lot lot of other cricketers, say Shardul Thakur. There are. A lot of other cricket. Uh, let let me ask you this question. You know, uh, Sanjeev Goenka is back in the IPL. He had Mahinder Singh Dhoni as his captain the last time around. Do you think he will be joining the bidding war to get Dhoni back? I'm I'm sure he will be. One thing that we need to know about Sanjeev is that he is treating this as an aggressive business. So there's no reason why he would not make an attempt to do exactly that because that adds to his brand value and over a period of time we've seen that teams that make uh, efforts to create a coherent kind of image for themselves tend to rise higher in value irrespective of their performance so it is not only performing and your ranking which matters it's also the kind of players who are in your stable so i would say yes the answer is he would go go for it Ashok, um, when we are talking about the IPL universe and the kind of uh, value that these teams have got, uh, there's a key question about how do they earn the money. A chunk of the money comes from the IPL media rights. Next, not next year, but the next to next year, 2023, we will have, uh, you know, a, a new bidder for that. Do you think 16,000 crore was the last amount? This time, it'll be a lot more? Definitely 30,000 crores. I, I I can put the name. Dilip can tell you better. But uh, the fact that it's uh, it's gonna double. The, I, as I said, that it is going go, it is going to go through the sky. Absolutely, uh, uh, it's skyrocket. It's going to skyrocket. Mm-hmm. Uh, and uh, uh, and everybody is going to gain. The all the franchises are going to gain. And and uh, at, at the way uh, Lucknow uh, uh, going uh, Sanjeev Goenka has uh, uh, paid seven thousand uh, do- dollars. The uh, every every is, Every other uh, team's uh, uh, status has gone up. Their brand value has gone up. So definitely, these, these are the things which which uh, and uh, as uh, Dilip said, Sanjeev Goenka is a very shrewd businessman. He's a right. he's, uh, all these guys are top class businessmen. They will not put, put money in a well. They 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 are trying to make money out of this game, mm-hmm. and uh, that is exactly what's going to happen. Thank you very much, Dilip and Ashok, for joining me on this podcast. The chief takeaway for me by talking to these three gentlemen was the price they quoted for the television rights bid for the next cycle. They say come 2023 and when the media rights are up for grabs, it could go double the amount of the last cycle, which was a little over 16,000 crore rupees. Of course, we have to wait 
and see till then. That's all I could bring you this week on on this edition of uh, Turning Point. Thank you very much for listening.